Oh, very hard mm, pictures gosh, to yeah. look at there. Very sad. Devastation of a storm definitely does not end once the storm passes. Oh, that's what absolutely we're not. So. Nope. All right. Well, Denny, here locally, we are looking at some pretty nice temperatures yeah. today. Today's going to be a nice one. Certainly not going to hit 80 like we did yesterday, but boy, I'm wondering if that one will be the last 80 degree day of the fall. Regardless, it is still going to be a little on the warm side today. Temperatures topping out in the low 70s. Tomorrow, cooler and breezy, but we'll see more sunshine. Then weather, looking at our weather headlines, we're going to see some rain this weekend, and it's looking like a pretty good chance of that. Right now, temperatures outside 58 degrees. Winds are calm. Humidity sitting at 42%. A nice morning shaping up. It is definitely more mild than we've seen the past couple of mornings. 62 right now in Caldwell, 52 down in Mountain Home, 39 in Sun Valley. But check out McCall and Stanley waking up to the 50s this morning up in some of the higher elevations. That's a nice change. Well, today's October 10th and that day might not mean much to you. It is Columbus Day. It's also our first average freeze date. But of course, we're not going to get there tonight. We're going to see our potentially our first frost come the middle of this week. It's also the first day we saw snow, the earliest ever in the Treasure Valley's history. History. First snow, of course, doesn't usually come until November 22nd, so we still have a while until we start to see pictures like this showing up on our live cameras out there, but never too early to think snow, especially if you are looking forward to ski season. Seeing some snow popping up in northern Montana this morning, along with the low pressure system that's driving some rain through the northern Idaho panhandle. For us, mostly just that cloud cover, a couple of stray showers starting to make their way into McCall right now. You can see here just McCall down toward Cascade, a couple of sprinkles there along Highway 50. If your morning commute takes you up that direction for us, just those clouds out there this morning, pretty mild because of it. That's what's keeping our temperatures a little bit more on the warm side. Future cast showing that we'll see more of those mountain showers this morning. Here's just after eight o'clock tonight. Could start to see some of those showers making their way down into southwestern Idaho. Not going to rule out the chance we couldn't see a stray one here in the Treasure Valley. But for the most part, just looking at added cloud cover tonight before we clear out and dry out tomorrow. Those temperatures are going to be cooler and we're going to see some wind on the way with that change. But the bigger change, we're going right out here. Here's Thursday morning. This is going to take until Thursday night into Friday morning to impact our area. We're looking at more clouds, cooler temperatures, and a pretty good shot of some rain this weekend. So planning ahead, be sure to bring the raincoats with you, whatever you've got planned this weekend. For us here in the Treasure Valley today, we're looking at 71 degrees, that stray evening shower. Sunset tonight at 7.08 p.m. and looking into the extended forecast, seeing those temperatures hovering in the 60s for the next few days. So still going to feel comfortable. Wednesday looks like my favorite day out of the extended forecast. More clouds on Thursday, rain likely on Friday. Don't forget though, Wednesday morning we could also see our first frost before we get that chance for some showers and breezy conditions headed into the weekend. Our temperatures will hover back in the low 60s all the way through Sunday. Kelsey.